so excited to be back. You have no idea. She recommended the blueberry jam, so I tried it. You just got pulled over. Tybee Island. And then I have to get my eyebrows done, which I'm so excited about. Tomorrow for a whole new vlog. Get ready. Good morning, guys. It is August 3rd, and we are headed to Back in the Day Bakery before we drive to Orlando. I'm so excited to be back. You have no idea. I'm sad. Sad to leave me. No, I'm sad to leave you, but I like to be back in my routine and just with my people. So this was another thing on my bucket list and I'm pretty sure we crossed off like pretty much everything on my bucket list, right? There wasn't that much except for that like old pink house but it was kind of expensive to eat there. So we're like whatever. And our dinner last night was really good anyway. So it's all good. I guess I didn't really share this with you guys cause I was just worried we were gonna jinx it. But we, you know, we're trying to save money. We didn't stay in like the nicest place especially the nicest area. So we were kind of worried with all the stuff in my car, you know, um, but it's okay. We survived, everything's great. We're gonna go get some biscuits and donuts and pastries and stuff like that. And today will be a good morning, but the only thing that's kind of sad about today is it's kind of like gloomy. We were planning on going to Cocoa Beach like straight from here. So hopefully Cocoa Beach is like sunny, we'll see. But I also have like my beach chair and like my umbrella and stuff like that in my storage and I don't want to go all the way back to Orlando to get it and then go to the beach. So we're going to have to buy some cheap towels at like one of those gift shops when we're there. bacon biscuit type thing. What's in yours? Chicken. Chicken. She recommended the blueberry jam, so I tried it. So Ryan just got pulled over. Well, we just got pulled over, but Ryan was speeding and he got a citation. But I mean, the cop was really nice. He didn't actually use his radar gun to get me or he would have given me the ticket. So he just said fast, too fast for conditions. What the hell? How they, do you know that? They would have put the speed on here. It says speeding clocked by and they didn't put the speed. Well, maybe he was just being nice. I don't think he got me. He just knew I was speeding. Well, anyways, I feel bad. But we actually changed our plans. We were going to go to um, Orlando and drive to Cocoa Beach, like, straight from Savannah. But we thought, like, okay, it's probably going to be, like, rainy in both areas, kind of. So might as well just, like, see Tybee Island while we're here and then just drive straight to Orlando. So we just arrived at Tybee Island. We were, like, literally two miles away, Ryan said, and then he got pulled over. Tybee Island. Oh, look at that cute like wooden swing over there. So I wouldn't say that this is like the nicest beach, <laughs> but hey, beach is a beach, I guess. The sand is pretty soft, mm, isn't it? What? These clouds are going to be a lot pretty big. Well, we thought, what's the difference between here and Cocoa Beach? They're, they both kind of, the sand isn't shelly. Oh, I go to Beach. Maybe kind of spoiled by Dustin. Like oh my god, I know. I, I think that every time I go to Cocoa Beach, like we used to go to Dustin slash Seaside every single spring break of our high school career. So we were definitely spoiled by like the nicer coast, which sucks. I literally, if I could change anything about Orlando, I wish it was like on the other coast. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not bad, <laughs> kind of actually. Guys, look at how cute this place is. It says time to eat. I'm not sure if it comes up on camera and it's pink. Like, I wish I had like a, some type of food to like hold in front of it. Take a picture like this. The real trap house. 
What? This is the real trap house. Yeah, the real pink trap house. <laughs> and look how cute this wooden bench is. Yeah, I'm gonna just take that whole driftwood thing, place it in my room, and then it'll really be boho. Get a bay that flosses your toes for you. <laughs> so concentrated too. Thank you. I usually don't care about like sand in my car because I have like a little handheld vacuum, but my dad just got my car detail for me, so not trying to mess it up right now. Guys, we're 20 minutes away from Orlando and I'm so freaking pumped. We just went through Sanford and it was storming so bad, like really, really bad rain. You can barely see the roads and guess what it's sunny and hot in Orlando and I'm so excited because I was worried that Orlando was welcoming me with a storm and I was gonna be really sad about it it says there's a 30% chance at like uh, later today like 6 p.m. or something like that but I wanted to do some like errands like I need to drop off some stuff on my storage because I need to pick up my dolly from Laura's apartment my ex apartment <laughs> Anyways, and then I have to get my eyebrows done, which I'm so excited about because I waited all summer. I don't know if you guys been, have been watching like my um, like main videos, but I've probably been talking about it like a little too much because I'm too excited about it. And like literally they didn't grow out as much as I thought they would, which is really annoying. Um, and I did tweeze some of them, but it's not like I tweezed anywhere near. I only tweezed like the ones that would be down here and I knew that they wouldn't be like an actual part of like my eyebrow. So, I'm kind of sad that they didn't grow that much because I literally waited like, what was it, like three months or something? And this is all I got, like seriously? But that's okay, I hope Layla can work her magic and bring my eyebrows back to life. It was funny because we were at Leopold's ice cream yesterday and like the worker was like, like where are you from? And I was like, oh like Atlanta, like kind of like why? Why are you asking me this? Um, but she was like, oh I was gonna ask you where you get your eyebrows done and I was like, oh my god, like Best compliment, best compliment, yeah, I don't. <laughs> best compliment ever, especially right now because I'm so like, not insecure about my eyebrows, but you know, they just don't feel as fleeky as usual. And Ryan is gonna get his eyebrows done too, so we're gonna have a couple brows transformation. How pretty is it right now? I love. We are here at Venus Brow. I am a changed person, yay, I got my eyebrows done. And she definitely like left a little bit and I'm so glad she did like that's what I'm saying you need your eyebrow lady and I was just telling Ryan like you need a person to do like your eyebrows or like he was saying his barber to like actually know like you and what you like so like you need to be build a relationship with that person if you know what I mean anyways Ryan thinks he has is a little too thin but I don't know I think Very it cool looks good man. So I know the lighting is really bad, but we are in our Airbnb and it's not like anything too fancy There's like a bed and stuff like that and it's pretty nice like the host is super nice I just took a shower and I feel so much better and I actually just filled in my eyebrows because I wanted to see like how they look and It's nice because she left some areas for me to grow it out So it gives me kind of like a guideline of where to fill in my eyebrows and obviously it's gonna look a lot better with my makeup on um, and I tried to do them like kind of natural, but like the dip brow like just worked a lot better for me. <laughs> and I tried using the brow wiz, but yeah, I filled mine in. <laughs> I tried using the brow wiz and I just couldn't, so I just did the dip brow. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed like our little like road trip down here through Savannah and Tybee Island and stuff like that. It was really fun. So we're moving tomorrow to a whole new vlog. Get ready. So cute. That was so cute. <laughs> Ryan usually never takes my camera in vlogs like that. Yeah, but I'm so excited. Like, I was in the car. I was so <laughs> close to crying. Granted, I just got my period, so like, TMI. Sorry, boys. I'm, you know, obviously PMSing, but still. Anyways, okay. Good night, guys. <laughs> Thank you.